Hey, how's it going, peeps? Dave here from Chronic Pain and Weed. Uh, checking in today uh, with a look at the Urban Leaf Mini uh, Portable Vaporizer. So this little unit I got uh, for my medicinal cannabis uh, instead of rolling joints, uh, it's a, a good option. A, takes the tobacco out of it if you're a tobacco joint roller smoker, um, which is really good, uh, but it's obviously the best benefit of it is yeah, you're getting... You're getting nothing but weed, so all the good stuff. Um, so yeah, the Urban Leaf Mini Portable Vaporizer comes in a little box like thus, which is really cool. Um, inside the box, you get all your little bits and pieces. Uh, the device itself is pretty small, fairly small unit. It's, um, yeah... Three buttons on the back, so you've got your your on-off button here and your temperature settings on these two buttons here up and down. Um, so yeah, you sort of get your device, unwrap it from the sweet little packaging. Comes like that. You're basically just ready to go out of the box. Um, it's USB chargeable. Uh, battery lasts a fairly, fairly long time. Uh, you've got your little indicator windows there, uh, which lights up when you turn the unit on. So it's pretty simple. you just got the big button there that you press five times. One, two, three, four, five. It turns the device on. And then it starts to get up to temperature. So it shows your battery indication. Uh, just there, little battery indicator. And then, yeah, your temperature settings. I've got it set for 168 degrees Celsius. But yeah, you just pump your, your settings up to your desired sort of setting. Goes all the way up to, I think it's about 200 220 degrees. Its lower setting is 160. So it'll only go to 160 degrees Celsius. Generally, the lower the setting, um, the slower the burn. Um, which releases uh, a lot more of the terpenes and then the higher settings you go um, will release a lot more of the THC component. It depends on your personal preference of what sort of um, what sort of result you want out of your cannabis. Uh, I find the lower setting of around sort of 168 to be uh, a pretty good a pretty good mix of both. Uh, um, you don't get overly too stoned, uh, which is really good which obviously people consider as a side effect. Some people, most people, um, use use cannabis for that side effect. Um, so if you're after that, obviously bump your settings up. Um, you don't want to go too high, obviously. The, the 220 mark is, is, is really high, um, and, it, and it does burn the flower quite, quite quickly, and it um, can get really hot, especially on the mouth when you're inhaling. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've found personally just that yeah the 168 settings reasonably good. So yeah, you just fire it up, click one, two, three, four, five, and then you'll see the red indicator on the inside shows you that it's not ready to use. And then as soon as it gets up to temperature, it'll turn green just like so. Um, I've used this recently, so I'll just give you a look of what your your finished sort of smoked product should look like once you've once you've used it. Um, so I'm not sure if we can focus in on that, but it's nice and brown. So it's been, it's been well used. You've gotten all your, all your goodies out of the flower. You've got your, your cannabinoids, you've got your THC out of there. Uh, it's done its job. The cone itself, uh, you can use dry flour, um, oil or wax um, within the little the little holder itself, it's about 0 0.4, 0 0.5 of a gram um, that you can fit in there. It's suggested not to pack it in there because it's, um, yeah, you don't want a too tight pack. Otherwise, it'll clog up and, and not work probably. So you just want to loosely pack your, your flour into the, call it a cone, I suppose, into your, into your device. Uh, comes with little cleaning tools, which is cool. Um, just for yeah, cleaning out the inside. Um, it also comes with 
these little doobies. So it comes with a pair of tweezers uh, for changing out your, your filters. Uh, comes out with a, a, a cone scraper just to get your dried flour out of there once you've used it. Uh, just a little brush just for cleaning up. Just around the sides and stuff. Uh, can get pretty jammed up. So yeah, that's, that's the unit itself. And then this is your mouthpiece which comes with a little blue filter on there like this. As you can see, after a use, it gets a little bit of little bit of stuff in there. So that's where your your tools come in, and you just give it a quick clean, get those out of there. Um, it does come with a changeable piece if that one gets too clogged up. But if you keep it regularly cleaned after each use, uh, you shouldn't have too many troubles with it with it clogging up. So yeah, you get your free, your spare spare filter, uh, and you also get the uh, little insert there which is for your oils, um, if you're actually vaporizing oil. So that little sucker just taps into there. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So that's just the mouthpiece. So to load it up with flour, obviously you just already got your grinder. So you put your flour in the top of your grinder, put your lid on, give it a really good grind up, take it out and you're left with your your ground up flour and then it's just a matter of yeah taking it out and then obviously placing the the flour into the cone piece as I say you don't want to thumb screw it you don't want to pack it in there you just want to get it in there and then that is it just clean up your edges stick your mouthpiece back on it just sort of locks into place and that's it there so that's locked on, button five times, one, two, three, four, five, red indicator, shows you that the device is warming up to the desired temperature, wait for it to turn green, check that your temperature settings on the right setting that you want it, I've got it set as I say for 168, 169, green light, green light's ready to go. Uh, and away you go, you just... Very minimal smoke. Just about no smoke comes out of these things because um, you're getting just, you're just getting just the flour, the terpenes, the cannabinoids, um, and most people, obviously, when you smoke with tobacco, what you're getting is, is, is a tobacco release of the smoke that generally comes out if you're vaporising or, or smoking a joint. But these... Very minimal smoke. So that's, um, yeah, really sweet to the taste. Um, not harsh whatsoever. So you won't get that cough, you won't get that really big lung lung fill which is you would with a with a bong or a dry pipe or um yeah smoking joints so that's probably the best thing about it, is that it's really really easy to smoke um and again the effects are completely different uh vaporizing compared to to smoking a joint or 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 having a bong so uh nice and clean um suitable for using inside so even when you exhale the smell isn't really really it's not a really strong weed smell so that's another good thing that you can sort of use it anywhere um yeah so it's a it's a rip a little unit uh, really really happy with it so that's the yeah the urban leaf mini uh retailed around 159 dollars so yeah good option for on the go for travel which is really cool um obviously uh still laws around uh, using cannabis in in public, so there are laws around vaporizing that are, are fairly blurry. You can use a vaporizer in uh, in a public place uh, smoking cannabis. Um, it's it's still not recommended because of the law can sort of get a bit confused on their own laws, obviously, or what they can and can't do to prevent you from doing that. Um, so at the moment, yes, you can. You can use your vaporizer in public as long as you're not in a um, area, I suppose, that uh, contains people under 18 um, or 
or you know just at a at a cafe or or inside a venue, uh, but you can at the moment use them in a designated smoking area, uh, which is fine. Uh, but just keep your distance uh, from other people. Be sensible about it. Um, just because you can doesn't mean you you should. Um, so yeah. A lot of people find if they're, if they're going to use medical cannabis, it's going to be sort of in the confines of their own home. Um, but if you are out and about and you need your medication, then by all means, duck outside, um, go out to the beer garden or the pub or, or venue that you're at. Um, you can just obviously pre-pack it before you leave. Um, make sure you've got your medication packaging on you at all times if you are travelling. Um, just if you do get done, that you can prove that um, that you're a medical cannabis user, um, and that you you have the right to, to do so. So that's um, yeah, that's the that's the little the little device that's changing a lot of people's lives at the moment. Uh, so yeah, um, I've got a few updates coming with um, the medical cannabis side of things through work cover and also um, the different strains I've been prescribed by my prescriber and just a few issues I'm having around um, with payments and things like that through work cover. So if you want to stick around and, and, and have a look at that, by all means do so. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, uh, subscribe, hit the like button, all the rest of the stuff that goes along with building the channel. And if you'd like to see more content, just yeah, throw a, throw a message in the, in the messenger um, doobie below whatever you need to do or you can send us a direct um, email questions at chronic pain and weed at gmail.com um, and i'll try and answer any questions or get some content up that you might be needing to know a bit more about um, as i say i'm not a medical professional uh, these are all just opinions off my own back and personal use um, using cannabis for chronic pain uh, yeah so enjoy the rest of your day um, love you and leave you sign out cheers <laughs>